Hi, Ted Wally here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll talk about a content managing platform. So what is a content managing platform? It is a tool you use to create and manage your website. In the early days, people use tools like Dreamware to build their website from the scratch. But right now, it's 2022, and uh, we have some powerful, handy, and mature tools at our hand. The four most commonly used tools are WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, and Shopify. After I did a lot of research and uh, a lot of trying for myself, here is a readout on the pros and cons of these four websites. Uh, first, WordPress. It's created in 2003, and it's an open source platform. Originally dedicated for blog, but really you can build any kind of website on it nowadays. There are around 35% of the websites on the whole world is powered by WordPress. And it comes with only the basic function. If you need to build a great website, you need plugins to really make it work well. You can build a ginormous website on it. It supports multiple currency and language, but the drawback is what I'm going to cover later in detail is that a lot of its logic is really confusing and causing a deep learning curve, which I think is totally unnecessary. Second, Squarespace. Squarespace is created in 2003, which is the same as WordPress, and uh, it's good for blog and e-commerce sites. It's owned by Squarespace. A lot of creators are promoting it right now. I can see a lot of ads on YouTube like that. It has all the common tools you need built in, so it's easy to use, no hidden price. But the downside is also pretty obvious. First, you can't really build a big website on it. Second, it has a 1,000 page limit. They strongly suggest keep it under 400. I have tried several websites myself, which is built with Squarespace, and they load really slow. Also, Squarespace keeps an eye on your content, all right? Which I'm sure it's not as strict as the Chinese government does on the mainland China websites, but still, it does it. Third, Wix. Wix is founded in 2006. Major drawback I found is that the storage is too small, right? Lastly, Shopify. Shopify is dedicated for e-commerce sites. Consider that I'm not doing e-commerce right now, so I didn't really dig into Shopify. So here comes the problem again. With all the metrics you can see on these website platforms, what is the major metrics that you should consider when make your choice? Again, let your purpose be your compass, all right? So for me, my purpose is to build this website as my online home, and uh, I need it to grow for a long time. So there are four metrics that I use. First, I need full autonomy on my website. So no surveillance, no keeping an eye on it, all right? Second, I can grow my site to a big one later. Third, it needs to load really fast. And uh, finally, price. Speaking of price, price is another advantage of WordPress because you only need to buy your own domain and buy your host. Then WordPress is free, it's open source. So unless you are downloading some paid plugins or things, you don't need to worry about money anymore. Here are the detailed price plans that you can choose from these platforms. All right, at this point, all the preparing work is almost done. And before you dig right into mud and start building a website, you need to design your website content first. And that's what we are going to do next.